Hello, welcome back to Steve's Retirement Corner. More layoffs to come. You know, I've been keeping an eye on these um, this tech industry, all the people that are letting go, laying off and stuff. And it's a tough spot to be in and get laid off. And it looked like it was pretty isolated there for a while, but I think it's going to start snowballing now. Reason is, is uh, uh, I ran into a boy I used to work with up at Lowe's the other day. And uh, he said they were going to lay off the plant I used to work at. And, and, and th that tells me things are getting pretty rough all over. It's uh, because they made, never made a finished product for the consumer. They always made uh, we always made product for uh, other companies. And when other companies start having a tough spell and they can't buy none of our product to make more of theirs, that tells me stuff's getting bad all over. That's what it does. Now, you know, it, I mean, I very well could be wrong, but it looks like we're in for a tough spell as far as employment goes for the next six months or better. I don't know. It's just guessing, just spitballing. But it, it looks like there's going to be a lot more damage coming here in the next six months at least. And, it, you know, this got me thinking here a while back. I was I was thinking that, you know, I, I pretty much retired out of fear. I, I don't know whether I retired out of fear or whether it was uh, fear is what made it possible for me to retire. How's that? <laughs> you know, because, uh, what, the first four years I, I was at the string factory. I mean, I mean, I was laid off three times. And, you know, it's, it's a tough situation to be in, man. I don't lie to you. Daggone all. Uh, I mean, bills don't stop just because somebody lets you go from the plant. <laughs> you know. But anytime you're working for the man, Doc, that, that can happen. You are subject to the layoff. I don't care what industry you are in. None of them are secure. It depends on the economy. If they're having a tough year, the easiest way to trim the fat is to lay a few people off. It it just is. And that's what they're going to do. And that's what I realized from being laid off like I was. And and I think that's the point that got me to uh to to learn and to live below my means. How's that? I mean cuz we were struggling back then. I mean we were newly married, new mortgage, brand new little kitties. I mean, every dollar we had, I mean, it, it took to keep the lights on, keep the bellies fed. I mean, it wasn't easy. You know, and, and, and we went scorched earth every time it happened. I mean, we cut out everything we could cut out just to get to keep the lights on. You know what I mean? I mean, we had a... Uh, first, well, back then you had newspapers. You'd get delivered to the house. You don't... <laughs> That's the first thing we'd cut out, newspapers. We cut out that on cable. Cause we had, well, yeah, yeah, we had cable back in. I kept a daggone TV antenna strapped to the house here for probably 20 years because I never was sure when we was going to get laid off again. So the first thing we'd do is call them up, and then I'd crawl under the house and hook that antenna up. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, I mean, it was rough. But that, that's what, like I said, that's what kept me from, uh, Living beyond my means because you're never sure when the next one's going to come up. And come up at, sure enough, come up at last time, I got a, it was laid off for good the last time. Fortunately, though, it, I mean, that year I got laid off, we got laid off the, the week before Christmas in 04. And I went back to work uh, right after the Super Bowl in 05. Went to an aluminum plant. Worked there for about a month and I got a job down at the, uh, paper mill down the road down there. I worked there for three or four months and I went over to where I'm at now or where I'm retired from. So I had three jobs in about six months. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I always kept, uh, kept a little side job somewhere. And um, I always kept my name in the books. Ever since them daggone, them, them first four or five years that I was at the string factory, you know, I, I, I kept my information up to date with unemployment office. I'd go to job fairs, you know, even, even after I come to the chemical factory here, uh, I even had job interviews when I was there. 
I was keeping my, uh, my, I don't know whether you call my skills up or whatever, my resume up. You just can't never tell. Nothing is totally secure if you're working for the man. They can let you go to drop of a hat, Doc. But I, I think that played a lot into my ability to retire now when I, when I was ready to go. That fear did. But then people are going to have a rough way to go, especially if husband and wife both work there. I feel for them. I mean, I know how it is. But now I didn't have no, uh, I didn't have no uh, education. I didn't have no marketable skills either. The only marketable skill I had was the willing to work. And um, I don't know that a man can get by with just that nowadays. And it's a shame. I think you're going to have to have a skill, a marketable skill of some kind or um, uh, a piece of paper that says you, uh, you're you eligible to do something, you know. I don't know. When I was over at the paper plant, I even went <laughs> I took classes to go get my um, real estate license, too. Never did go down and get to pass the test. I never did get to go down to the test site. It was up in Richmond. I didn't want to go up yonder. But... Uh, place I'm at now called me and I said man that's good that's I'll take her and I'm glad I did because I, I got a I got a pension I got a 401k and I, they made good money there so for a long time probably the first 10 years I was at the strength factory we didn't have a daggone 401 I was up in my 30s before we got one yeah probably close to it had to be at least 29 and 30 but that was a big bonus to us too. I mean, people 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 get upset about four one not having enough stuff, not not having good enough stuff to invest in. But that automatic deduction and the automatic one or two percent raise or whatever every year you can set it for, that made a big difference in my ability. It made a huge difference. I don't know. Well, y'all have a good weekend. We'll talk to y'all later.